Hi guys, it's Kuji and today we're gonna talk about all the upgrades and customized parts that we put on this amazing KTM Duke 790. In this video we're gonna cover all the parts that are upgraded, customized or just bought new or old. <laughs> on this bike we're gonna include the prices and the links to them in case you want to get them as well. This bike was already purchased with a lot of parts. We just added more parts to it. So the overall price of the parts is absolutely crazy. You can see it right here. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this video and let's right get to it. So first thing first, we're gonna talk about stickers. We have three different set of stickers on this bike. Each of them is around $100 to $150. We're gonna pull up specific set of stickers and how much it costs so that you can know. It should also uh, be fitted for the 890. So if you have the newer bike, you can totally use them as well. As I mentioned, we have three different sets of stickers. The first one is the personalized one, visible as well here. Then the set number one, not personalized. It's right here with this grayish blue color that I absolutely love and I love how it looks with the orange. I feel like this combo is such a unique combination of colors and looks just so damn good. I'm, I'm obsessed. And then another set of stickers, final set of stickers, is this one right here where we have mostly just gray color and white and orange as well. And then the final personalized part of with the stickers is right here above the exhaust. Actually, one last part with personalized stickers is on the front. So let's move to the front. It was designed to match one of the previous set. So we have this grayish blue color and another the second set of stickers, not personalized one. However, there were some cutoffs. Like here, you would normally have more pieces with the sponsors. We just decided to get rid of it because it looks cleaner, in our opinion. Then also the wheels. We have actually two different sets for the wheels as well. I know it's, it's messy. <laughs> one of them is just for the outside of the rim. And the other set is for like the inside, I would say. Then we also have the stickers on the suspension, the fork. We couldn't actually manage to find them online. And then when it comes to other parts, we will just talk about the front and move slowly to the back of the bike, as, so that it makes sense <laughs> in some way. Uh, so first thing is the turning signals. They look way cleaner way smaller, which we very much like. The turning lights were actually for $420, which is quite a lot, I'm not gonna lie. Personally, I don't know if I would do it, but they look very nice. <laughs> then we also have the fork plates. I'm, I'm not sure if you say that this way, but in case we're gonna pull up the name here. Those were these things right here. Of course, orange to match the KTM and to the overall color scheme. They cost around $660. Moving a bit further, we have the handlebar that is also orange to match everything else. And it's around $100. Besides the handlebar, we have the brake cover in the same or similar color scheme. And also the grips that we actually recently installed on this bike so they are pretty fresh still they feel amazing and riding with them feels amazing as well because my hands are not sleeping anymore <laughs> moving on from the grips we have also customized mirrors they were for 30 dollars then in the place of the old mirrors we have something called mirrors removal and we put this little screw in so that it looks more aesthetic, I would say, and there's not just a hole. <laughs> we also have a customized dashboard with the protection. 
that's around $50 and USB as well. Moving on, we also have Evotech wheel sliders and the radiator guard. The sliders are around $100 while the radiator is $130. We also have the engine tip which is around $90. We also have the cap for the brake and for the oil. Adjustable racing foot bags system that is visible right here. It includes the foot bag, the whole system here, as well as this part. Then there's also a little part right here, which is just an accessory for the tank cover. And we're gonna pull up the price. Who is the exhaust? It's the X-Race MK2 and it costs around $330. It sounds freaking amazing, especially when you take out the DB killer. Oh my God. We should pull up the video that we took when the DB killer was out because it was pure, pure music for me. The exhaust also has a little cover, carbon cover that you can see here. We got it for $50 um, and it just is meant to let me not burn myself when I sit on the bike because I burned myself actually twice on this bike. <laughs> Earlier mentioned seat cover that right now we have stickers on it, but initially we got it from Power Parts. Let me take maybe all the yeah, <laughs> of the phones. And right next to it is the seat from Power Parts. We got it for $200. And the frame that you can see here, we also got it just for longer trips in case we need a bug or something. <laughs> this frame is around $330. There's also a different license holder, Tail Tidy and this one costs around $150. For the exhaust, we actually also have a single exhaust holder, but since we're riding together, sometimes I'm backpacking, we had to take it off. But we're gonna pull up a picture of it because it looks absolutely amazing and makes the bike look way more aggressive and aesthetically pleasing, I would say. And some of the parts are from different side of the bike. One of them is the rear sprocket that costs around $100. We're gonna pull up the image right here. <laughs> also the kickstand cover. We're gonna pull up the picture right here as well. And it's around $15 and $30. The very last part, which is engine cup. And we are not sure about the cost right now, so we're gonna pull it up right here, including the image as well, or just under the description. Hope you like this video. In case we forgot to include something, we're gonna just pull it up right now. Okay, <laughs> so hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it and my boyfriend editing it, hopefully. If you have any questions or if you maybe noticed some parts that we didn't include, just let us know down in the comments below and see ya <laughs>